On this episode of A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player, I'm going to do an unboxing. I have my knife. I'm gonna try. Let's see here. Yep, I need a knife. I'll be careful. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that didn't work so good. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Well, look at this. Oh my goodness. There are a bunch of tiles. What in the world? Okay, there's a bunch of little notes in here. Oh my goodness, it's like Christmas. She was watching the videos and um, watched the, the uh, interview with Greg Swain. And um, mentions that I may not have had opportunities to see the rarity of vintage tiles. So she wanted to share some with me. Some are enclosed for you to keep. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Some of these, I don't know if you wanted them to be private, so I kind of just didn't wanna read every word. But this one, I think I'll read because she's saying different things about the tiles. Okay, so she says, some of the enclosed tiles are yours to keep while others are to loan. Okay, good. So please return them when it's convenient. Okay, well, that's fun. In particular, I wanted to make sure you heard what bone and bamboo tiles sound like. I almost like the chirping bird, perhaps the chirping sparrow. Of course, I couldn't send a full set, but those are, but those are enough. So you can roll them in your hands and make a pile to lightly toss, lightly toss. You'll hear and hopefully be amazed as I was. Some of the sets I have are just too rare and valuable to have a tile sent in the mail. I totally understand that. Perhaps we'll meet one day and do a show and tell. Oh, I would love that. You'll be odd. So was I when first, first seeing some. Thank you so much for Mahjong Central videos. They're fabulous. Big hugs until we meet in person. I'm in Atlanta often. All right, you're gonna have to come play with us. Okay. Okay, so she, she sent me her, oh, a self-addressed return envelope. How convenient. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's look at these tiles. Okay, you know what? I am going to get my overhead camera so we can zoom in. Let's see here. I think I'll put these up here. Put that up there. I'm gonna go get my overhead, so I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna start looking at these now. So this first one looks like a disc. National Mahjong League, this belongs to. You put it on your rack. Apparently the league would um, 
would include this in a set or would sell one to you. The idea was to engrave your name or your ID in this blank space. Yours to keep. Oh my goodness. I remember seeing this and I actually coveted it. And now I get to keep it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I already know where I'm going to put that. I have a set of French ivory tiles for 13 orphans in my china cabinet. They're just orphaned tiles and I'm going to put it on that rack. It's a vintage rack. I'll take a picture of it and let you see it. Okay. That's amazing. Thank you so much. How fun. I remember seeing that recently on Mahjong. That's it. Okay. Let's look at these. These are coins. Just a variety. There's one with 50. Whoops. And then it's just different colors. And then here's one that's kind of close to the current chips, but it's a little heavier. Okay, let me read this. Okay, six Bakelite chips, one French ivory. That must be what this is. French ivory. Six Bakelite. Maybe this is the French ivory. I think it is because it's got a little wafering in it. Those are the French ivory. And then a square hole plastic. The French ivy, ivory chip is super rare. The Bakelite chips normally sell for 50 cents to a dollar each. Mine to keep. Oh, so special. You know, I actually have some chips. I'm just going to add these to those little collection. I'll show you that too. Really cool. Look at this, this one. This one's kind of, is it opaque? Is that what that's called? You can kind of see through it. Very cool. Look at that. Wow. This is so cool. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's take a peek at these. Oh, this one. I have this set. This is a Ricci set. I have a set just like that. Okay, there's a blank tile. That looks like a travel set. This looks, this is a tri-level set. And this is a jumbo tile. I actually have some of these too. Okay, let's see what she says here. Mine to keep. Modern plastics, new, two-tone, tri-layer. Notice size variation. Japanese travel. This is probably, I'm not sure. This is just your tri-level, but this is a jumbo. Very cool. Very cool. You must have a lot of sets. Okay, here we go. This looks kind of special, this one. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is like a keychain thing here. It says, member of the National Mahjong League. It's got a hole in it. The only red National Mahjong League keychain ID. Wow, this must be rare. I need to return this one. Look at that. Member of the National Mahjong League. That's really cool. It almost looks like it's like decoupaged almost on there. All right, now the bone and bamboo. Oh my gosh. You hear that? Wow. It does kind of sound like birds chirping.
Very cool. Oh my gosh. I've never seen tiles like this before. Okay, let's read about it. This is fascinating. Vintage bone and bamboo. Mix them. Listen and imagine 144 or 152 of them. Yours to keep. Am I reading that right? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, so cool. Look at that. And I remember um, when I was with my friend Jamie, she was talking to me about bone and bamboo. And she said that when the bone and bamboo are of equal level, those are more valuable. Sometimes there's a lot more bamboo than there is bone. And the more bone, the more valuable. And this is half and half. I think that is correct. See how it's kind of half and half? I will treasure these. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm starting to have a collection. I actually have a collection now. Oh my goodness. Very cool. I just want to make sure that said to keep them. I'm just kind of flabbergasted right now. Yours to keep. Okay, it says yours to keep. Oh my gosh. That's so sweet. Okay, let's look at these now. Okay, now these, these look uh, very vintage. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Uh-oh. It looks like something came apart. Uh-oh. Looks like that's supposed to go on there. Okay, let's just see what it says. All yours to keep. Okay, Chinese Bakelite. Chinese Bakelite. I think that goes on there. Two green wafer backs, one red wafer back. I would imagine that over time that the glue might come off, but you can kind of see that it's kind of, uh, is it translucent? Maybe opaque was the wrong term. Translucent, you can kind of see through it. Wow. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to glue this one back. This one kind of came apart, but I'm sure I can find a way to glue that back. I will, I will send a message to Johnny and ask her. Notice size, color variations. These are just a few of the seemingly endless, endless sizes. Yours to keep. Wow. I'm going to have to figure out a way to display all these in a really clever way in my cabinet. Look at that. Very cool. This one's kind of rough. So I don't think these had a back on it because they feel really soft. This one's a little rough, so I'm pretty sure this goes on there. So we'll figure that out. Very cool. It probably came off in this Atlanta heat. It gets really hot down here. Okay, now this, this is big. Okay, here we go. There's all, okay, now these are individually wrapped, so they must be maybe more delicate. Oh, I'm a little clumsy, so I'm gonna try to be really careful here. All right, here we go. Let's look at this one. Oh my goodness, you took so much time to do all this. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for taking the time. Okay, now let's, let's look at what these are all about. Looks like someone decoupaged on there. Okay, there's a black. Flowers, a flower. Okay, let's read about these. Okay, these need to be returned. Decal Bakelite Catalan, Chinese Bakelite, and Peng Chow two-tone tiles used for missing flowers or jokers. So people would decoupage a flower on them 
to make up for missing tiles. Oh yeah, this was a five crack. Can you see it? See the five there? And they decoupaged a flower on it. That's interesting. Okay, please return. Oh, wait. Please return the Peng Chow tile. Oh, okay, so this one. The Peng Chow, Peng Chow two-tone. This one gets returned. The others we can keep. Okay, very nice. Okay, so this will go back. Okay, very cool. I'm going to keep all these together though. Let's see here. Let's just put these over here. Okay, now let's see. What do we got? Okay, this one. That's a wood back. It looks like a plastic front. Look at the wood, the amount of wood and plastic. Okay, let's read about this one. Wow. Okay. This tile comes from a Peng Chow set. It's, it's a thin layer on some type of wood, possibly bamboo. Hmm. Okay, note the finish of the wood as compared to the vintage bamboo dovetail sets. Please return. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, I would not know. It kind of feels like wood on the sides. I don't know though. I'm no expert, that's for sure. Okay, so this one we will return. Very cool. Okay, so that one will return. Okay, here we go. It's like Christmas. Oh, okay, I thought I remember someone calling this. Well, I don't even wanna say it. Oh, here we go. There. For dice. Uh oh. I need to be gentle. Can you hear the dice in there? Wow, look at that. Tiny. Tiny dice. Okay, this. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, she says is what it's called. This is what I thought it was called, but I didn't want to say it. This is called a coffin box, which holds the carved bone dice. Yours to keep! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I have a collection. Oh wow, that's just something else. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yours to keep. Wow. Wow, I'm speechless. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wanna keep those together though. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is another one of those decoupage ones. Okay, this is bamboo, but it feels like plastic. So this is must be when they started. I mean, it feels like plastic. I don't know. Maybe I should look at what the expert says. Very deep bone. Sharp elongated dovetail. That is bone. Oh my goodness. If so soft and light decal someone put on to use as either a joker or a missing flower 
the higher the ratio of bone and bamboo, the better. Okay, so this one, the other one had half. This one's more like a third. So, and this says yours to keep. Wow. Very cool. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. More. Look at this. Okay. Ooh, look at that one. Wow, I wonder how that was made. They're almost like beveled. Okay, let's read about it. Please return. I'm not surprised. Pillow top. Look at the round. Okay, that's what a pillow top is. I was wondering about that because I had seen pillow tops somewhere. They're kind of curved. See that? Interesting. Okay. Very hard to find. Very desirable. Wow. Pillow top. I wonder how they made those. Very cool. We're going to put that one in there. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this one is. These are big. Ooh. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay. Two very rare dovetail tiles. Note the slight variation in size. And color. This a illustrates bit. why it's so hard to find matching tiles. They need to match color, size exactly, or an eagle eye player can remember the differences knowing the tile, usually a joker. Matching tiles usually run a staggering $25 to $50 per tile. Need three, plan on $200. Sets sell for thousands. Oh my goodness. Please return the larger of the two. Wow. The one flower. The other two flower is yours to keep. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm just... Oh my gosh, I'm really just amazed. Wow. Wow, I'm going to put these together for now. Because I want to put all these at the very end. Okay, so I don't want to get them mixed up though. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see what this one is. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Okay. Boy, this one's kind of delicate. Oh my goodness, look at that. No number on it. Okay, let's see. Pung Chow Two-Tone. So the two-tone tiles must be very valuable. This one I need to return. Look at that. I love the feel of this one. Wow. Okay, we'll return that. The two tones are very valuable, apparently. Okay, here we go. All right, this one looks kind of different. Okay, this must be the bone and bamboo. There's another little decoupage going on there. That bamboo really makes a clattering sound. Please return. This is a little bone and bamboo tile with a decal. Note the rounded back. Oh, it's, it's like, 
Yeah, I actually have a set similar to this. Very cool sound. Very cool. So it's got kind of a curved top. You know, I always thought Mahjong was a very tactile game, very sensory. So this has been fascinating. Okay, let's see about this. Oh, I know what this is. This is enrobed. This is enrobed, I think. Let's find out. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what she says. Enrobed. <gasps> Yours to keep. Oh my gosh. Oh, cool. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's another one. This one's big. Okay, now this one looks like let me guess, this looks like Malaysian or maybe from Singapore, maybe Korean. That's heavy. Okay, let's see. Red Dragon. It's sure, it's a sure sign. The set is in Mahjong sales at Amer at america mahjong sales at um, of america very unique design please return uncovered when uh, removing a decal not all of it removed yet it's always i always try to look probably under the under the stickers i'm wondering though i know there's something called a fly I think this might be a joker for like um, Malaysian or maybe Taiwanese or Singapore. I'll have to look that up. But I thought, I didn't know this was a dragon. I thought this was like a fly, I think it's called. I'll have to look at the design and see, because that's kind of what it reminds me of. But you know, I'm no expert, so we'll see. It's kind of bigger and there were no Roman numerals on it. All right, let's see. This looks old. Bone and bamboo, half and half. This looks kind of similar to another one we saw a bit ago. Okay, bone and bamboo, lightly drop, 50-50. Lightly drop, very interesting. Okay, this one doesn't say whether to return or keep. If it didn't say re keep, I'm gonna return it. So this will go back, just in case. Okay. Oh, this one looks really old. A nine bam. I think my friend Jamie had a set like this. I remember seeing these bamboo designs. Okay, let's see what this says. Bamboo, fine dovetail. And I guess something about warping. Fine dovetail. Wow, that just looks super old. Okay, that will go back just in case because I'm not sure. Okay, let's see this one. This one looks old also. interesting 
I wonder why it's like different colors. Okay, now this one has only like a quarter or three quarters of it is bamboo. Okay, let's see what this one says. Bone and bamboo in seed carving. Oh, like the bamboo looks like seeds, I guess. So I guess that is bone. Hmm. Cool. Okay, this is really thin. Let's see what this one's all about. Ooh, look at that. That almost looks like toffee or candy of some kind. East. Oh, this is this is that French ivory. Do you see the lines? Very faint. You can almost feel it. Okay, let's read about this one. Very cool two-tone French ivory with caramel tile. French ivory means little lines on the face made during the plastic bakelite process to mimic real ivory. The tail is on the side. Real ivory isn't straight if it looks like a crosshatch. So this is very smooth. So if it were real ivory, it would have kind of a cross hatch on the edge. So see how smooth that is? But on the top, it kind of has that, those lines that simulate ivory, but it is not actually ivory. Oh, here, there, you could see some of the, the lines across that. I guess it is very faint on the bottom. Very cool. French ivory. Okay, that's kind of like the set that I have, but it, it's not quite like that. I th it's not quite as big, I don't think. Very cool. All right, here we go. This is a big one. This is a plastic, so this is more modern. I've actually seen sets like this. Okay. Modern, newer, tri-layered red tile. Notice the chips on the corners. From dropping, or most likely, to vigorous mixing. Uh-oh. Toss in air and land on table. Never do this. Lose sight. Please return. Okay. So, what not to do? All right. Don't be throwing up tiles. You know, when you see some people take their card and do this. I think if you have a tablecloth, you know, that kind of protects the table and the tiles. But if you have a hard surface and you're mixing tiles like that, I can see how you might get a chip. Got to be careful, especially if it's vintage. Okay, one more. Ooh, these are tiny. Okay, look at that. So this looks like, I don't think it's French ivory because it doesn't have those lines. It's really tiny. That must be a travel set. These, this looks really old. Okay, let's see. Smaller travel or lady sets, bone and bamboo. This is the bone. It's very light. It almost seems hollow. Wow. And then the Peng Chao two-tone. So Peng Chao is the two-tone. Okay. Wow. Very, very cool. Okay, this kind of came apart a little bit. Get this packed up.
Okay. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, wow. That was something else. Okay, Karen, thank you so much for taking the time to educate me on all these different types of tiles and the materials. And thank you for the gifts. I am so excited. I, I need to come up with uh, some ideas of how to display these so that when people come over and see all the tiles, they can kind of understand what they're looking at. I mean, this is just absolutely amazing and so generous. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I will be returning these in short order. Stay tuned for a slideshow of all the tiles sent by Karen R. of Mundelein, Illinois. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on fun videos about Mahjong just like this. Between now and the next day in the life of a Mahjong player, may all your picks be keepers. Oh,